show you how to make this the latest creation. Another streamer type, clouser type fly for a white bass and crappie. I always start by flattening my barbs. There's a couple of techniques I want to show you. You'll see them in most of the flies that I make that are like this. Get that centered up real pretty. First you start with just a, oh that's about a 10 or maybe a size 8 hook. You probably want to use a thin wire hook and a better quality hook than what I'm using. I use these old eagle claw. You get a whole box of them. You get about 500 of them for five bucks. They're cheap. But they work for my purposes. I tie a lot of flies and most of them are relatively low value. Flies. The first thing I want to do is put a nice, in this case, a chartreuse base to the fly. And I'm going to just use simple thread. Nice chartreuse base. That way the body of the fly is chartreuse. And these are skimpy flies. When you're fishing for white bass and the water's clear, you might as well use a skimpy fly. Now you need your bead chain eyes. That's a pretty simple deal. You start them this way. A couple of rounds. You can see where it's, it's about probably a quarter of an inch from the very front of the hook and you do a crisscross pattern. Just get them down, cinch, cinch them down real good. Back and forth. All right, once I've done that, I wanna get a single strand of spinnerbait skirt. See that stuff? That's what they use on spinnerbaits. I'm gonna pull a single strand of chartreuse like this. I'm going to take it in half, put it in half, catch it over the fly, pull it back between the eyeballs, and then come up and continue the figure eight pattern going forward and back. All right, returning the returning the thread to the front of the fly. Now I'm going to take bucktail, white in this instance. This will be the underbelly of the fly. And just a few strands. You don't need much white. Just a few strands. There's probably a dozen in there and I'm going to take some of those out. All right, got me a few strands. I'm not even gonna even them up. I'm just gonna strap them on this fly in the front of the in to the front of the fly. I haven't crisscrossed it yet. Taper that out real nice, and then do a crisscross, just a couple. Finish out the head a little bit. Now you flip it over. Like this. And then you, gra you grab your gray bucktail. Once again, just a few strands. Probably that many. Just a few. Now here's something that's a little interesting. I'm going to put these on in this orientation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that the ends of those, the nice cut and even ends, end up right in the bend of the hook. Just like this. And strap it in on the nose. Now you do not have to go back over the eyes anymore. Bring that down to the nose. 
pull this over and get all of them and begin to wrap back. There you go. There you go. I got one. Oh, I cut him off. I have to cut that one off. Now you're going to build a head. Nice and pretty. I'm not going to cross back over the the eyes. They're secure enough. A couple of half hitches. Like that. A dab of super glue. Right on the thread. Pow, just like that. That super glue, those half hitches, that'll hold that fly. There's really no need to put a lot of time. I like to spread that glue out so that it it uh, dries faster when it's thinner. There you have a Clouser-like white bass fly. Those two things stream straight back. This side looks a little better. It should orient in the water like this. These things should offer it, I don't know. But it's got a white underbelly, a gray top, and a chartreuse stripe. That's a pretty good fly. Time up. Tell me how they work. Hey, thanks for watching. Y'all be good. Bye.